Question 5. The loci C1 and C2 are given by the uh, modulus of C plus, uh, Z plus 2 equals 2, and the argument of Z plus 2 equals 5 pi over 6, respectively. Sketch on a single diagram the loci. Okay, first thing to remember about this, our loci, um, we know that this one, the general form of this, Remember that? That is the one that's a circle, isn't it? And that is a circle, centre A, with radius R. So this is looking like a circle, but it's a plus that's in there. So before we do anything else, we're going to have to change that and write it as being Z minus minus 2 is equal to 2. So that's the first thing that we're spotting, that our centre is minus 2. Because the radius is 2... You know, we know how often they do this. You can almost expect that the circle is going to go through the origin and there's going to be some little kind of devious way of making sure that <coughs> that's the thing that they're looking for. And again, we've got that, haven't we? The circle is going to just go through the origin um, because the, the origin is two away from the centre. Right. <coughs> and we've also got that the argument of Z minus minus 2 is 5 sixth of pi. 5 sixth of pi, of course, is an obtuse angle, isn't it? That's 5 sixth of pi is almost all the way around to pi, so we need to be careful how we draw that one as well. Sketch on, an, on a single argon diagram the loci C1 and C2. So, um, yeah. Oh, I don't want that one. Which one do I want? That one. Um, so, our first one is we're going to draw this, look at that, freehand circle. Oh, Dave is some kind of circly genius. There we go. So that's at minus two. It's, uh, it's clear, isn't it, if it's, well, it's clear that the radius of this is two from the way that we have drawn this. You could, if you wanted to, do a little... Uh, Thing that shows that the radius is 2, but it, it's pretty clear because the centre is at minus 2, and that's going through the point zero, 0, which is great. So that's our circle. The argument, also centred on the point minus 2, an argument of 5 pi by 6 would give us, remember we draw these with a, with a line like that, would give us a line that's doing that. Again, uh, it's alright just to draw it like that. If you want to, you can mark the fact that that angle there is 5 pi over 6. 5 pi over 6 is 150 degrees, isn't it? So I want to get it in basically the right kind of place. But it is a half line starting at the point minus 2 going in that direction, so with a, a negative gradient. And they, they give four marks for that. The four marks, I haven't got my mark scheme with me, but I can think I can remember. The four marks were... Um, one mark for a circle, one mark for um, the centre of the circle being either minus 2 or plus 2, one mark for the circle being exactly right and going through the origin, and the last mark for the line being a half line at that point and the whole diagram being perfect. I think that was where the four marks were, maybe that's slightly wrong. Now, <coughs> two marks now, find the complex number represented by the intersection of C1 and C2. Um, a lot of you just kind of didn't get started on this really. Um, I, if you hadn't got the diagram right then you were struggling. A couple of people did some really great stuff and just didn't finish it off. So uh, well, I think what we're thinking about here is that, well the way I thought about this is that here we've got that's much too small. Here we've got a little triangle, haven't we? This is this is a snapshot of that bit there. Within that little triangle, that distance is two because the radius of our circle is two. That angle is pi by six. Now, based on that, I would like to know this distance and this distance. They're not my coordinates, but they're going to get me some way towards it. So I'm going to call them, what shall we call them? Um, what letters can we use? A and B. Call them A and B. I don't know why I'm calling them A and B. But anyway, 
We're going to stick in those letters, see if we can work them out. So A is the opposite in this triangle. So A is 2 sine pi over 6. Pi over 6 is a half. Um, 2 times that is going to give us 1. The other is the adjacent. So that is 2 cos pi by 6 which would be root 3, wouldn't it? Because cos pi by 6 is root 3 over 2 times 2 root 3. OK, that's not our complex number. OK, it's getting us closer to our complex number, but it's not it. Because this distance b is that distance there in our diagram, that little bit across there. And actually, before we go that distance, we've got to go minus 2 away from the origin first root. So the real part of this is minus 2, take away another, root 3. And the imaginary part, well that bit we have got, is 1, so that's 1i. And there is our answer for that bit. <coughs> okay, uh, it, was, it, it, was a, it was a few of you who got as far as 1 and root 3 but then didn't turn it into the complex number that it needed to be. That was quite tough, I thought, wasn't it? And then finally, this is the bit that I, I missed when I was marking these, and I had to go back and check that I've got this. Indicate by shade in the region of the Argand diagram for which these two things are true. Well, if we are inside the circle, that z plus 2 is less than or equal to 2, so that's the region inside the circle. Um, but also, it's got to be the argument is between 5 pi by 6 and pi. So the bit that we are shading is, should we do it in the crayon? The bit that we're shading, there we go, is that bit there. Do you remember colouring in with wax crayons when you They always had bits of paper around it, you had to peel back. Oh, I missed those days. There we go. So that's what we're, we're shading in. Um, I think you did get a mark for just shading inside the circle. If, you, if your line was in the wrong place. So you know, there was some error carried forward in the marks. And Any questions about that? Great. Right, there we go. And that's loci.